When nowhere feels safe in Gaza, sheltering in hospitals the least worst option for many of the displaced. Doctors at Al-Quds Hospital in Gaza City say there's no space left untaken. Waiting rooms, corridors inside these hospital wards too, taken by those whose homes have been destroyed or those too scared to return. This is a place to wait out the war for however long they can. But there's no place of greater safety here. Israel's military has ordered people to evacuate, claiming that Al-Quds is one of two hospitals with Hamas command centers underneath the building. Several families have told reporters it's better to risk death in hospital than on the streets. Some have no choice. The UN estimates around 1,000 patients in Gazan hospitals are on dialysis, their lives dependent on the backup generators reported to be running low. This is what the surrounding neighborhood looks like now. There have been two strikes within 50 meters of the hospital since the Israeli evacuation order. We've been displaced from our homes to the hospital. The bombing followed us all around the hospital. The director of the hospital received threats from the IDF that he must evacuate the displaced. Where will we go? There are 15,000 displaced people in the hospital. We will die in the streets if we leave. The bombings were so strong. Barrels of explosives fell next to the towers near us. There are many buildings next to the hospital. There are so many children here. Look, they are two, three years old. In the southern city of Rafa, this is the aftermath of the latest airstrike. As seen from above and the reality on the ground. This is where civilians were asked to evacuate too. The bomb reported to have hit a local bakery, killing and injuring several people. Some of the images too graphic to be shown. The UN says the scale of the human tragedy unfolding is unbearable.